Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies triangles and the relationship between their sides and the angles between these sides. For a clear understanding of trigonometry, one must review some key basic concepts. The coordinate plane, it contains a horizontal line called the x-axis and the vertical line called the y-axis. Their intersecting point is called the origin, coordinates of 0, 0. Four quadrants are formed from this intersection. They are labeled with Roman numerals, counterclockwise. A 360 degree unit circle is the foundation for the various functions in trigonometry. Let's recall some basic information about a 360 degree circle. The initial location is located on the positive side of the x axis. The terminal segment is currently on a positive location. It opens counterclockwise. Opening clockwise produces a negative angle. These vertical lines are parallel to each other. They form right angles. This line is tangent to the circle. Cotangent is a ray that comes together with another. Notice the various right angles. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. One degree contains 3,600 seconds. One revolution is equal to 1,296,000 seconds. The circumference is pi times diameter or 2 pi radius. Pi is a ratio between the circumference and the diameter. The radius measures one unit, so the circumference on a unit circle is 2 pi. Let's calculate radians. One radian is the ratio between a rotation in degrees by the circumference of a unit circle. So one radian is equal to 57 and 3 tenths degrees or 180 over pi. One revolution for a radian of 2 pi radians. Divide the circumference by 2 for a radian of pi. Divide the circumference by 4 for a radian of pi over 2. Divide the circumference by 6 for a radian of pi over 3. Divide the circumference by 8 for a radian of pi over 4. Divide the circumference by 12 for a radian of pi over 6. Theta is used as a variable to represent a measured angle. The longest side of the right triangle is the hypotenuse formed by the right angle. Theta faces the opposite side. The adjacent side is next to theta. In a unit circle, the radius measures one unit in length. Trigonometry combines the unit circle, the coordinate plane, the right angle triangles, the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is about right triangles and square units. These units are used to measure the area. However, their square root will produce the side measures. Similar triangles, their ratios are proportional. Trigonometry uses numerals less than 1. And many of these numerals are irrational. For precision purposes, they are kept in radical form. Observe how square units are used. 
square units for area or units for length. Fractional exponents are radical numerals. Know the laws of exponents. Know how to rationalize the denominator. Let's begin with a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. X over 2x. Sine of 30 degrees is. 1 over 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. x times the square root of 3 over 2x. Cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2. Let's apply this knowledge to find tangent of 30 degrees. Tangent is sine over cosine, 1 over 2, divided by square root of 3 over 2. Tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. Notice the similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Secant is the hypotenuse over adjacent, or the reciprocal of cosine 1 divided by square root of 3 over 2. Secant of 30 degrees is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Notice the similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Contangent is cosine over sine, or the reciprocal of tangent. Square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2. Contangent of 30 degrees is the square root of 3. Notice the three similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. So secant is hypotenuse over sine, or the reciprocal of sine, 1 divided by 1 over 2. Cosecant of 30 degrees is 2. Notice the three similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Let's study a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. X divided by X square root of 2. Sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, x divided by x square root of 2. Cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Let's apply this knowledge to find tangent of 45 degrees. Tangent is sine over cosine square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Tangent of 45 degrees is 1. Notice the similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent or the reciprocal of cosine 1 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Secant of 45 degrees is the square root of 2. Notice the similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Cotangent 
is cosine over sine, or the reciprocal of tangent. Square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Contangent of 45 degrees is 1. Notice the three similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Well, secant is hypotenuse over sine, or the reciprocal of sine. 1 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Cosecant of 45 degrees is the square root of 2. Notice the three similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Let's study a 60, 30, 90 degree triangle. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. X over 2. X cosine of 60 is 1 over 2. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. X square root of 3 over 2X. Sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Let's apply this knowledge to find tangent of 60 degrees. Tangent is sine over cosine, square root of 3, over 2, divided by 1 over 2. Tangent of 60 degrees is the square root of 3. Notice the similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Secant hypotenuse over adjacent, or the reciprocal of cosine, 1 divided by 1 over 2. Secant of 60 degrees is 2. Notice the similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. Cotangent is cosine over sine, or the reciprocal of tangent. Cotangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. Notice the three similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional. So secant is hypotenuse over sine, or the reciprocal of sine. 1 divided by square root of 3 over 2. So secant of 60 degrees is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Notice the three similar triangles. Their ratios are proportional.